Hi everybody, Gertle from Cape Town. Now how to restart a body transformation after a long layoff. Now let's say you were seriously sick or you um, had a bad injury and you were off let's say for more than six months, a year, two years, whatever the case. It's a long layoff. You were an active person before, well now the body is weak. Just getting your mind around getting back to gym is making you breaking a sweat. Uh, because you know you don't have energy, you, you feel weak, you just don't feel up to it. Maybe you are not up to it. So let's go through this process of how you determine whether your body is right to actually return to gym and start with a body transformation. Okay, now let's first look at the, the reasons why you were off gym in the first place. Was it medical? Was it non-medical? If it was non-medical and you were off gym, for example, from a, let's say, divorce or the death of a loved one or, or some serious heart wrenching stuff that happened in your life then sure by all means i think you made the right choice you know uh, some things is just too important in life to not take time off and just think about what's happening and come to grips with it and so on but it's over now uh, you need new direction in your life you need to make new choices in your life so this is the time for you to start and getting back to gym your body should be in in good shape or at least should be fit to return to gym uh, you should have enough stamina and enough energy. Uh, so there shouldn't be a problem for you returning to gym. If it was non-medical, but it was, for example, something like uh, work pressures, uh, a big contract, whatever and so on, um, that is not good. Because if it happened then, it's going to happen tomorrow, it's going to happen the day after. And this is where you really need to realize, you know, you need to change your whole concept of what a gym is and what a body transformation is. To go to gym is not optional. To go to gym is a given. It's, it's something like eating, sleeping, doing whatever else. You have to do it. You don't have a choice. You have to just do it. So it's not a matter of, I don't feel like going to gym today or whatever. It's not on the cards. You just go. You eat. You have to eat. You have to sleep. You have to gym. That is how high it should be up in your priority list. So you have to find a way of dealing with this. And if you don't find a way of dealing with this, it's always going to derail your plans. If that means you have to go very early in the mornings or very late at night to gym, it doesn't matter. But you have to set yourself an hour and a half apart every day that you can spend time on your body, gymming, getting fit, doing what you need to do. Now, if it was medical, uh, that's now anything, you know. You know, it could become seriously sick, some organ damage problems, cancer, whatever the situation. Then it's a bit of a different story. Because your body took a humongous knock and uh, you need to determine whether your body is fit to actually return to gym. Let me tell you why this is so important. Uh, the problem is that myself, last year, the first time I went uh, into hospital, let's say around about January, it was a near death situation. And uh, I got through it. I didn't have energy. I lacked any kind of stamina. But you know what? I started to force myself to go back to gym. And very light sessions because I couldn't muster the energy. Uh, I, I couldn't lift the lightest weights. My body was trying to tell me something. The doctor didn't stop me from training. And uh, eventually what happened is uh, after just a couple of training sessions, my body folded and back into hospital. And uh, <laughs> at least then I got to a doctor that uh, knew what he was doing. And he struck me from gym for a very long time. Basically, in total, it was one year because my body needed the time to heal before I could put any kind of punishment on it. Now, this is what happens to a lot of guys that are going through a serious medical, medical situation. They don't allow their body to heal sufficiently before they're returning to gym. And that usually puts them back a, quite a couple of steps and it can even result in death. Like in my situation, I was very close to dying. If it wasn't that this, this other specialist doctor came on my path, uh, chances are that I might have been dead right now. So this is serious, serious stuff. There's a certain process 
that you need to go through to determine whether your body is fit and ready to, to return to gym. Now, this is what I'm going to discuss in this video. Two things. The one thing is to what do you need to do to determine whether your body is ready and fit to return to gym. And number two, I'm going to give you then the three month program that you should use in the gym to phase in your training to allow your body to adapt and get used to the the training environment before you start really punishing your body again right so how do you determine whether your body is right to return to gym the process is very simple you need to put your body through a process to determine whether your body can take a little bit of punishment okay but you need to be very careful in the approach Obviously, your doctor needs to prove everything. So don't do anything I'm saying here. You need to take this to your doctor. You're going to take one week before you're returning to gym. You need to do this. You're going to take one week. You're going to take the five weekdays. And every day, you're going to do some brisk walking. Day one, you're just going to do five minutes of brisk walking. Day two, you up that to 10 minutes. Day three, 20 minutes. Day four, 30 minutes. And day five, 40 minutes. Now, if you can do this up to the 40 minutes, without any serious stamina problems or energy problems and you don't feel too exhausted then you are perfect to return to gym however if you struggle struggle by any means to keep up with the above then you're not ready to return to gym then you need to stick to the following process then for the following week week two every day between 15 and 20 minutes walking brisk walking this will allow the body to slowly start adapting and slowly get its energy back. But don't force it. If you feel extremely exhausted after, let's say, 10 or 15 minutes walking, you down it to 5 minutes walking. You must not feel extreme exhaustion or have any serious stamina problems. That tells you your body is not ready to return to exercising or gym. So the test you must pass is that you must be able to walk at least a 40 minutes cycle without extreme exhaustion and that will then give you your pass to return to gym right now the second part now you passed you can get back to gym but now you need to start your training regime the first three months this is a very specific program this is where you slowly fade in your training regime so that your body your tendons your joints your muscles everything can get accustomed to it plus remember you were seriously sick or you had a serious medical issue so your body needs to recover and it needs to learn you know the new environment that it's functioning in you can't overdo it because placing too much strain on the body will have serious consequences for you take it slowly building the body up slowly is always the best approach now for ready done video i'm going to put it on the right hand corner of the screen so just have a look there click on that link that video will take you to this specific program the program that you need to follow for the three months before you start out with let's say my advanced system or uh, you know another serious training regime that you want to follow you need to follow this rigidly because this is a process that will allow the body to adapt before you go into some serious training guys we have but one life to live we're much more fragile than we actually think we is. Apply wisdom and the body will respond in kind. Apply ignorance and you might even die. Now come on, change inside and outside. You become a man with integrity and a body to match. So everybody, Hatler from Cape Town signing off. Happy training. Cheers. Man, <laughs> this is not good. <laughs>